Hey folks, it's Justin once again here in the beginning of January. Welcome. Uh, happy 2017. Hopefully this year is going to go a lot better than last. Um, quick update. It's the holidays. Holidays are over. I got some stuff to show. And first off, I want to get out all the people who contacted me for books um, let's see here. I'm not going to say your whole name. Um, James, let's see here. Oh, that's not, I guess that's your email address, but your name is Roman from California. I got yours. Uh, if you would like, you know, any Beach Boys stuff that I had offered up earlier on my, uh, video before, my last video, then please let me know what ones. Uh, and you asked about having more than just what I've shown. Yes, please watch some of my old videos. Um, definitely have a lot of stuff. Excuse me, maybe not compared to a lot of other people, but I've got some stuff I've shown over the years on YouTube. So anyway, <clears throat> get a hold of me on e on uh, my Gmail account. Um, and I could mail you some Beach Boys books. Get that reading going. Um, Hernan, who I'm friends with on uh, uh, Facebook from Argentina. Uh, I see that you're interested in books. Cool. Um, I'm willing to send some out. I hope that mailing to Argentina is not too tough uh, as far as expenses go. So please get a hold of me. Uh, send me your mailing address. I'm not going to do anything with it. This goes to anybody who sends me their mailing address. Um, and anybody who I've sent to before, you can attest that I have not done anything with your addresses. I'm just going to use them to send you uh, what you asked for or, you know, whatever. And that's it. I'm not going to do anything else with it. And finally, uh, Ryan... Doesn't say where you're from. You want the Inside the Music of Brian Wilson book. Um, and I realize you guys emailed me a month ago. And if I didn't get back to you, sorry. Uh, I was pretty sure I did, but that was a month ago. I can't remember. So uh, please email me back with mailing addresses. The sooner we do that, the sooner we can ship this stuff out. Um, Ryan, you're the only person to ask for that book, the Inside the Music of Brian Wilson, which is one of my favorites. And happy someone's going to get it that's excited to read it. So, if you did email me and I didn't read off your name, I may have not flagged your email. So, in that case, resend me if you did send me something and I just didn't get it. Or I hadn't flagged it yet. So, resend it or send it to me again. My email address is on the previous video from a month ago. There's books on there. If you would like any, please let me know and email me. And then with that, we're going to move on to the rest of the show. A um, few things I got uh, from my wife and father-in-law. Um, I got quite a few books. If you're on the Facebook group, my Beach Boys related group, then you'll know that... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that I got quite a few goodie books, um, ones that came out recently, and uh, and uh, I was quite pleased. Christmas was very good to me. Um, speaking of that, let's see here. Oops. And I'm trying to find on my phone, I'm sorry. A few other things. Um, come on. I'm sorry. I got some mystery science theater in the background. Uh, if you guys are into that. Eddie, I believe you sent me... Sorry, I can't keep all this straight. Eddie, I believe you sent me Beach by Ricky Martin. Thank you. That was very sweet of you. I appreciate it. Um, of course, it's the... Released the expanded version with like the single with the sting 
stereo and mono versions. Um, and I'd never really heard this album before. All I knew was Stop, Look Around, um, which this whole album was produced by Carl. Very interesting to listen to. Um, and a bunch of the session musicians, my gosh, it's like Beach Boys Greatest Hits in here as far as sessions. Uh, you got Earl Mankey I saw in there. Uh, Stephen Moffat. I'm sure I'm botching some of these names, but... Um, Ricky Fatar and Dennis play drums. Um, let's see here. Jimmy McCullough plays guitar. I believe he was in Wings. Ed Carter and Billy Hinchy <coughs> and Carl Wilson play uh, guitars as well. Uh, Carly Munoz plays organ. Um, synthesizer by Billy Hinchy and Van Dyke Parks. Mellotron, Carl Wilson. Um, Peter Cetera, Jerry Beckley, um, Bobby Figueroa. Billy Hinchy, Carl Wilson, Ricky Martin all do background vocals. This this is like so much of, you know, if you know your Beach Boys stuff, you're like, whoa, that's pretty awesome. So it's a fun listen. It's interesting. I really like the song Stop, Look Around. And I believe Carl wrote Everybody Knows My Name with Ricky as well for that. So that's cool to get that kind of stuff in there. I love Beach Boys related stuff um, as far as that goes. So... Excuse me why I get a drink. Um, I got this, which is somewhat Beach Boys related. This is Phantom of the Paradise. Uh, Paul Williams, if you know him, get to know that guy. I barely have scratched the surface of his stuff. Um, but he wrote a lot of stuff. Uh, Three Dog Night did, um, and the Carpenters did. And it's, uh, I'm not going to do it justice by what I say. Um, this is a really interesting movie though. I was just, I've just now seen it within the past few years. Um, this is the Blu-ray and it's ph phenomenal. This DVD is just the bonus stuff. It's not, it's not the movie on DVD. So I hadn't owned a Blu-ray into a Blu-ray player until this past fall. So now it makes sense to have this, but tons of features. Um, if you've not seen this, uh, a group that performs is called the Juicy Fruits and they performed a song called Goodbye Eddie and it's really nice like 50s doo-wop type pretty cool stuff. It, this movie's from the 70s, pretty obscure, Brian De Palma uh, directed it um, and uh, that same group, Juicy Fruits, goes under the name The Beach Bums and does a song called Upholstery, uh, which I posted uh, probably a couple times on my Facebook group as well. Um, it's totally Beach Boys. Um, and uh, the there's a lot of documentaries and interviews and stuff on this uh, Blu-ray. And Paul Williams describes how Upholstery was definitely, definitely influenced by Brian Wilson. So there's where that goes with that, why I mentioned it. I think it's a pretty awesome movie. Um, and Paul's character in the movie is totally Phil Spector. The way he dresses, he's a short guy in, in any way, but the way he's very peculiar, particular about things and just kind of weird. Um, uh, it's really interesting. You should definitely watch it. Um, here I have, I am Brian Wilson. Of course, I took the cover off. I really don't like that the material that cover is made out of um and it can get fingerprints on it really easily i hate that i have to take it off i'm only on chapter three I haven't gone through much uh it's really like back and forth which a lot of people have said uh it's pretty interesting uh great photos a lot of you know if you're watching this you most likely know most of these pictures nothing uncovered uncovered that you haven't seen um but it's all uh, it's all good fun, you know. Brian is. I really don't know if this biography is autobiography is just totally him, or his co-writer, or Melinda. Um, some sound, some parts sound like him, some parts not so much. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, I've not gone through much of it, so we'll see. I got Surf City, um, the Jan and Dean story by Dean. 
and forward by Brian or Brian. I'm sorry, forward by Mike Love. Um, some really cool shots in there. I don't know the Jan and Dean story very well. I've seen like, uh, here's a really good shot with, uh, I believe, uh, Brian and uh, Carl, right? Yes, and Dennis from the 70s there. Um, anyway, I've not got into this yet. Uh, I really can't wait to read it. It's got a lot of interesting tidbits. I saw a section on Mike and Dean. Can't wait to read that. Um, and, you know, all I know is a Dead Man's Curve, like, TV movie. Um, and the VH1 behind the music of Jan and Dean. That's all I've ever seen. So I don't know quite. I know about the wreck and all that kind of stuff. But I am not, I've not deep uh, dove <laughs> into their stuff as I should. Um, here's Mike's book. So plan on doing that next after Brian's book. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not going to give money for that. But um, I'm totally up for reading this. I'm sure it's got some great insight. And I know that uh, that's a new picture, which, you know, has been shown on the net here and there. Uh, Brian and uh, Mike with a monkey. Um, you know, I've heard his is more chronological and whatnot. So we'll see. Um, and I'd love to post some coming reviews of those uh, when I get done with them. And then finally I have the Wrecking Crew uh, book, which looks pretty fun to read. Although I was told by Andrew Doe that uh, to beware when I'm reading this, that you know not all things might be factual in it. Um, I know some people... Uh, have kind of forgot what have happened or maybe have fabricated some stuff and maybe some people who said they were were there at their session and maybe they weren't <laughs> okay and um who knows you know what uh, i would hope that they would have facts in there but i didn't know it before getting the the um the book it was on my amazon wish list um then last but not least it's some vinyl. Finally got Spectre's album on vinyl. Uh, I've had a 70s release that had Spectre on the cover. I've probably shown. Um, this is a Sunday's uh, release of it. Um, and uh, I'm pretty pumped about having it. So, and then in the end here we got the Good Vibrations vinyl that was put out around October. And... Um, Got a little inserts. I'm sure. I'm sure most people have this. The Japanese cover of uh, Good Vibrations um, single, and uh, there's the back if you've not seen it. And then colored vinyl, which is always fun to show, uh, and I love just seeing Good Vibrations, Good Vibrations, Good Vibrations. Um, ooh, all right. So. There's that, and glad I could bring this to you guys. I had such a great Christmas holiday. Hope you all did too. If you got something Beach Boys related or so, like myself, let us know about it. Type in the comments. Show us what you got. I know I'm coming a little late with it, but uh, you know how things are. Anyway, if I mentioned you, email me. Uh, let me know your home address so I can ship you a book or two. Um, if you'd like a book from a previous video that's not been chosen, email me as well. I would appreciate it. And we'll hopefully see you back in a month.